Hi, my name is Salah Ibrahim and I'm your host in this podcast called Mind is Your Own Business. In this podcast, we share stories that usually are left untold. We shed light to the struggles and learnings of successful people who have used love with psychological coaching. We hope that by this we could validate the fact that each and every one of us have their own struggles and also give you insights on how to cope with your own mind. Today, as a guest, I have Henry Lindgren, a man with over 12 years of experience in the games industry, currently a CEO and chairman of Lightnir, a Finnish mobile game studio. Welcome, Henry. Thank you. Or Henno. Yes, he, he, well, I prefer Henno. <laughs> cool. <laughs> My teachers used to call me Henry. And It's like you have you done something bad when someone calls yeah, you Henry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, Henno, Henno it is then. How are you feeling today? Uh, relatively okay. Uh, it has been quite uh, quite a challenging few weeks. Uh, uh, but uh, per- personally and, and, well, not personally, but professionally uh, especially. But uh, I mean, considering the circumstances, I... I'm still standing with two still feet. Still standing. Yeah. <laughs> what what kind of challenges do you want to shed light? Uh, we we have been having some uh, company restructuring work mm. uh, done at Lightnir, uh, which resulted into de- some deductions in the personnel, which is obviously as it was a manager as as the leader. Mm. Uh, it's a it's quite draining uh, mentally, but um, I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. And it's also the market situation. Like you're, yeah. you're not the only one going through this yeah, exactly. <laughs> at yeah. this very moment. But yeah, of exactly. course, challenging times. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, okay. How would you introduce yourself if you couldn't use any professional titles? Hmm. Um, I think like my work and profession has always, well, over the past 12 years, uh, kind of, defined me mm. quite uh, significantly mm. so it's it's very challenging to to introduce me without that context uh not sure how healthy that is that is but uh it's uh, pretty common also <laughs> especially if you are a ceo level and almost you're not an entrepreneur but you're yeah entrepreneur yeah. minded yeah exactly so, yeah yeah So, uh, uh, but but yeah i think like if if we take the the, the work context out mm. um I'm a geek. Okay. I'm, I'm a huge geek. Uh, obviously, game game industry. Mm. Uh, quite a few of us are geeks. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm 36 at the moment, living in Helsinki. I'm, I'm originally from uh, from a small town called Orimattila. A geek from Orimattila. Yes, that that <laughs> kind of defines me. <laughs> cool. Anything else you want to add? Oh, that, if that's the kind of what I am, yeah. Geek, geek from Orimattila, yeah. Cool. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> so today's topic is about self knowledge and self awareness and maybe a leader leadership on on uh, on the side. But what do you see as your defining moments? Like what uh, events in your life have shaped you the way you are today? Um, I I personally believe. Uh, that kind of like a, a lot from what we are, like I would say, like half of what we are. I'm not a psychologist. I, I don't. I don't know about the the personality ratios or anything <laughs> like that. But uh, like a lot comes from the birth. A lot, mm. a lot comes from the like how we are kind mm. of wired. Yeah, and uh, that kind of defines kind of the rest of the journey and uh, kind of. It takes you to different paths uh, depending on, on mm. what how, how you are kind of wired. Um, so obviously, the birth <laughs> is kind of defining your defining moment, <laughs> defining moment <laughs> yeah. in, in life, uh, which then obviously then continues with the upbringing. Uh, mm. My uh, uh, parents, both boomers, mm. uh, they had uh, like a both their their own way of of up upbringing so mm. one more of a more of a how would i say it uh nurturing and and the other more of a kind of a uh kind of telling mm. Mm. <laughs> so uh I, i think that kind of uh dualism and that kind of like uh thinking has has also uh, like always carried mm. carried through uh for for like 
my whole life. Hmm. Um, and then obviously like all of the different challenges um, in in life, big or small, I think those are those are the defining um, moments in your life when when you kind of reflect on on who you are, um, what are your values, what what do you want to do in in, mm. in your life, and 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 also self reflection as mm. as we are talking today. So um, I'm not sure if you yeah, if you asked for three, I'm just gonna say two because <laughs> then then you know there has been so many other like smaller moments in mm. in, in my life that have steered the direction of of who i am and and what i am doing today mm. so it's kind of like you're wired in some some certain way but then there is the uprising somewhat nurturing and then another one maybe pushing and mm. and uh was there a third one then some small additional well s- small of... stuff here and there yeah. well, like uh like i said like it's it's um these small big or small uh challenges in life mm. they i think they are the things that mold you the, the that's true uh, w- way you you are and where you become uh as as a person but well maybe, maybe a third thing i could actually mention uh which actually is directly involved to the career path that i i decided to take mm. this is a positive one so <laughs> this is not a like a, a overly negative uh I, i have um one very old friend uh called lassi and uh uh i think we were like i don't know like 14 15 in ulaste uh mm. what, what is it like elementary mm. school or something uh and then like um we were just chatting i, I can't remember the uh the context or i can't remember the event or anything but i just remember him saying that that, that yeah you know you're you're kind of um you're, you're kind of a natural leader mm. and i've never thought about leading mm. anyone in my entire life before before that and that kind of st- like stick to my head and i'm i'm, I'm i actually told this last summer to, to last sit directly and and he was overly surprised that bam that that's a mm. like like small things that also can, can affect, really have, a, have a very big impact in that's in, very in true life. but this is a positive thing not a, not a negative thing. yeah yeah <laughs> definitely and it, like you said it's sometimes these the small things where we get validation for example for something exactly. that can really define some yeah some important things in yeah. our life and and sometimes you you kind of need that outside perspective mm. to to know what you what you are so definitely and very important thing to understand also as a leader like what kind of impact you can have as a leader when you're uh, validating and encouraging people around you yeah. but uh, back to back to uh, what you said about you're wired in a certain way and yep. and that's very true we kind of are born also with some kind of mm-hmm. traits what do you see yourself what are the kind of core traits that that henu has Oh, good question. I'm I'm wired in a way that I'm very I'm very logical, pragmatic, but at the same time I would say I'm very kind of empathic and optimistic, very kind of positive mm. person. I usually uh, rely on um, uh, intuition and like how different decisions feel like. Mm. But when I then start when I when I work, I'm I'm very kind of logical and and like process oriented. Mm. So there is kind of this du- duality mm. there definitely. But but yeah, um, I I think I'm I think I'm um wired in a in a in a positively pragmatic way. <laughs> Are they sometimes in a conflict with each other? Y- y- many many times. Yeah. yeah. What kind of situations have you encountered? Um well lately um Well, for for example, this uh, this uh, process that we are are now in, mm. or or where uh, in uh, at Light near when when you know that you need to 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 let people go when when it kind of uh, it's a it's a it's a constant like a like a struggle mm. within uh, and 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 you try and kind of not to do it, but at the same time your your logical self shouts that mm. you kind of you have to do this mm. like in, because of in, the business exactly yeah yeah, mm. yeah so that's that's one thing if um uh for example if if you are um struggling to i don't know give feedback to someone who is not performing mm. 
that's a situation where you kind of need to be very pragmatic, where, where you need to f- like see a result. Mm. But at the same time, it needs to be given in a way that kind of n- nurtures the, the, mm. the empathic side. So, um, yeah, Th- they are kind of in, in this eternal conflict, but at the same time, mm. I think that's, that's, a, that's a very good thing mm. and, and a very kind of a, one of my, my strengths that mm. I can be uh, very pragmatic uh but also empathic yeah yeah I, i can't help myself i'm thinking about the nurturing mother and the pushing father inside your head like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> two sides the, the devil and the angel. Yeah. <laughs> i'm not saying which one is which yeah. <laughs> yeah. but i think it's important also to find kind of the balance and, and flexibility like sometimes you need other other kind of traits and, and strengths and sometimes other kind of for sure it's, it's very very situational mm-hmm. oftentimes yeah like This is the situation where you need to be exactly. more kind of direct, and mm. this is where the listener comes in. Exactly. So, what are the moments that have taught you most about yourself? We talk about personality or values or mm. beliefs. What are those moments? I think these are the like the the challenging moment here and there mm. in in one's life. Definitely, like. um In those situations, you kind of um, stop and think about what are you and, and, mm. and your values, as, as mentioned. Mm. Uh, I think definitely those are the the, the moments in in one's life. Um, not going to go too much into into details on on mine because there are there are a few, but <laughs> <laughs> you can pick one. <laughs> I'm not pushing you, but. <laughs> um, Well, w- one kind of like uh, uh, stopping moment in my life was when my grandmother died. Mm. It kind of it was the first uh, like kind of uh, death of a of a of a like a close family mm. member, and and that was a was a moment when when you kind of stopped and and and, and started to reflect. This was years ago, mm. but it, it was the first time when when I kind of really stopped and started to reflect on on. The, the kind of um how how would you say it like uh, f- the the fragile life mm. the, the kind of um the the little moments and and mm. kind of how important mm. those are mm. but also also like myself like thinking about what uh, my grandmother was to me and uh, what kind of traits have I inherited from mm. from uh, her in terms of like genetics but also from like her cultural background mm. uh, she was a uh Karelian Finn uh, like an immigrant mm. uh, from the world war and and kind of there is this there are certain things that I uh, I like since then I've like clearly taken from from that kind of cultural mm. heritage and uh Yeah, it's it's kind of these moments that kind of you stop and start mm. thinking about different different things and, and mm. what kind of what kind of uh, things impact you the most. Mm. What what really matters? And yeah, who yeah. am I? And, yeah. yeah. So was there something specific that you learned from yourself? Like this is who I am, and this is kind of the things that I value. Uh, like specifically from, from yeah. that yeah event. for example. Um, well. Um, I, I think one of the things definitely how how important uh, food <laughs> and making cool. food is in terms of like uh, showing appreciation mm. to to other people mm. and showing like I, I love you I'm making food mm. to you mm. that's kind of uh, I've, I've always done that but it's it's something that like. It, it's it's a stupid example, but I'm, no, it's, it's it, not it, a stupid it, example. <laughs> that's that's your love language. Yeah, exa- could you say? yeah exactly, yeah. exactly. So mm. that's something that I've I've uh, kind of learned or mm. or inherited from mm. from there, and uh, I I kind of uh, realized it only afterwards. Mm. That, yeah, like okay, like this actually actually came from from grandmother from 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 there. So lovely. Yeah. So. Thanks for sharing. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, How good are you at recognizing your strengths? What would you say? Um, not really good. I've, I've always um, uh, kind of recognized that that I I am a relatively positive person. I always try to think uh, think about the, the the upside and the 
kind of the next steps. Mm. Uh, but uh, before starting coaching with you guys, I haven't really, really kind of paid attention to what other kind of strengths mm. there might be and 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 how to how to cultivate them and also identify weaknesses and mm. and and how to how to deal with those. Mm. Oftentimes, I've I've th- thought about weaknesses being something that you 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 should be trying to get rid of and then kind of get to a level mm. uh, as your strengths are or get to some form of a level uh but yeah i've, I've just realized that yeah you should you should just focus on your strength and, and mm. the weaknesses are the, what they are and you can't really like i mean you can you can work um to kind of mitigate them mm. but you you shouldn't be trying to make those as your strengths mm. un- unless there is like certain things that, that you can twist Exactly, I definitely agree. And sometimes yeah. even it's it's not that black and white. Things are sometimes weaknesses, but the same uh, aspects and same traits can be can be also strengths in another context. So. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So now it's time, Henno, for you to praise yourself. What are your strengths? <laughs> well, <laughs> let the world know. Uh, well, uh, obviously, I think the the positivity is is one mm. thing. I. Uh, Not not only it, 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 I I talk about positivity, but it, there's so kind of there's a lot to it. Mm. Uh, I would say the um, the the ability to be with people mm. uh, quite naturally mm. and and to to kind of talk and 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 coach or to talk and 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 just um, lead people mm. with with quite. Uh, relative ease mm. is 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 uh, kind of all tied in, into that mm. um, certain certain way of behaving and certain way of acting being. Um, I think those are all like the like my my strengths. Mm. I also mentioned this kind of um, kind of pragmatism and and process being very process orientated. Uh, in my current, well, throughout my career, I think it has been something that I haven't realized it, but it has been always a strength that mm. I can I can understand kind of large data and, mm. and kind of digest that with quite ease and and kind of put those into different compartments mm. and then prioritize those with 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 relative ease and fast. So I, I think those two things are definitely the, the kind of key mm. strengths that, that I that I think I I possess. Mm. So so, you know, relatively good with people and then good with thinking. <laughs> mm. uh, to me it sounds like uh, this combination might be your superpower, like that mm, you can combine be, yeah. these mm. two and you're very logic and good with numbers and thinking, but at the same time you are definitely a people person and i can i can mm. kind of uh uh say, agree with that definitely and awesome very, so it's very not only me but... it's not only in you <laughs> <laughs> no not at all awesome. um i'm not talking about like development areas but mm. i believe that we all have this kind of I, i call it a core reflection theme or something that we always kind of bones into mm. uh like the theme that comes over and over again on our table in different situations mm. and It's, it's like an onion that you just peel and, and you never kind of get ready with it. And uh, if I share something about me, for me, for example, the core reflection theme is something to do with uh, kind of uh, I need to be independent and mm. it's hard for me to ask for help. And and vulnerability has been something that I've been training like my whole life and still every day or every now and then I kind of get on that question over and over again. Am I Am I there yet? Maybe never, but have you have you found something like this in you? What is your core reflection theme? Vulnerability is something um, I'm sure many of us are, are struggling with. Mm. It's, it's obviously you you kind of need to have that spa- safe space to 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 open up, and you need to have you kind of you need to train yourself to to do it as yes, you you have clearly done. I'm and trying my best. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it's uh, for for me. I would say it's it, it has definitely always been like this. Um, like if if something doesn't go uh, well, or if 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 I 
in my opinion, fail in something, or if somebody tells me that I've uh, like some things could be could have gone in a different way, mm. I have had the the tendency of then kind of going to a kind of defense mode and, mm. and kind of being very then kind of shell up, mm. and that has always been like if if um if shit hits the fan, well not not, not the, okay that's not a good example, mm. um if if somebody comments on my work in a in a certain way mm. then then i have ha- sometimes have a tendency of you know shielding up and, mm. and like being very defensive uh and and that has been for me a, a constant struggle mm. well it has improved over the years quite a lot uh but it, it it's something that like uh like i've noticed mm. that and, and and have been consciously working mm. uh, like peeling the onion <laughs> peeling the onion exactly like because uh, like i think that's a great like uh, metaphor for it because you need to understand what's behind it and what mm. you kind of need to peel the onion and mm. go quite deep mm. in order to understand what what what's there that is causing that that kind of shielding reaction up. yeah and, yeah mm. and, and in what situation do you actually shield up mm. So and then you need to shed some tears at the same time you're peeling the Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, like, f- I'll I give an example. Um, like, when I started on uh, on this job uh, as the CEO of Lightyear, uh, this is my first CEO ship mm. uh, ever. Uh, and this is the first time I'm I'm uh, working with, with a board, board of direct- mm. directors. I've always had a boss. I always had a... Uh, someone kind of mm. like super supervisor mm. so uh dealing with uh, a board of directors basically kind of your all of your bosses but at the same time not necessarily your bosses but mm. all of them having their own agenda all mm. of them coming from their own mm. kind of worlds so w- when i started to work with them uh and, and working um with this this board of directors it it really kind of the first board meetings were definitely kind of me feeling it's me mm. against them. them. Yeah, oh no. it's it's me coming to say that, hey, I, I know how to do my job. Exactly. And then them kind of like shooting back with questions yeah. and stuff. And, and it took me a while to kind of, and, and also obviously help from, from you guys, it, it, it kind of turned into realizing that they all come from their own mm. background they all have their own agenda whether mm. it's you know one being the the owner or a founder of the company one being maybe you know the large investor mm. uh, of the company they all have their own perspectives and and also they all have have their kind of own um strengths what they want to kind of mm. convey in those conversations and, right. and those meetings so understanding that, that okay it's it's mostly it's mostly about you know me telling what i am doing mm. and then you know asking like if if you have something that you want mm. to help me out with mm. or you know you know if like if, changing the perspective in your own head exactly that, yeah. exactly yeah mm. it's it, 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 it is purely in my head obviously mm. it's mm. It, it's nothing nothing else and when i was able to do that mm. then it 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 came a lot easier it was only like me explaining that okay this is the plan this is how we are doing it mm. um, any comments any questions should i change something mm. and then you know sometimes things change sometimes mm. you know don't then but but i think the main main kind of twist definitely happened mm. happened in my head and that was that was really like all of the new ceos should go through some kind of like base base training of mm. how to work with board of directors yeah definitely <laughs> agree yeah. yeah and there are so many different kind of boards also for sure yeah so yeah but like changing perspective in your own head mm. what what was exactly like the perspective what did you have before and and what was the perspective after right so reflection? so uh the, the perspective before what was that um um i came to kind of to the uh board meetings or whatever i came to kind of ask for permission or i came to uh, present my plan prove or myself kind of prove mm. myself yeah and it was like when they commented at 
on the plan or on on something that I proposed or or something that we were already mm. doing, like I took it really personally. Like, okay, this is a, like a personal uh, attack, attack, and to this your is competence to, to or, my competence mm. and to my to my to to me as mm. as, as a as a person. Mm. And as I, as I briefly mentioned in the beginning, um, like a, a lot of me is built on my uh, professional self. Mm. Uh, it's just like I, I love to work, and mm. I, I, it has always been like that. And it, it, I don't think it's never going to change. Mm. And that kind of defines me really kind of heavily. But at the same time, uh, it, it shouldn't allow for kind of how would I say it like comments like different comments to to what i do mm. it's to what i do mm. not to, to you me. as a person and that that was kind of what yeah. changed yeah so it, it was mostly the the change was that they are trying to help me right to do my job better exactly so yeah yeah that, that was a like a very fundamental like a shift sounds like a very important <laughs> learning very very yeah. but still some peeling to do right yeah yeah <laughs> Cool. <laughs> and mm. and uh, I, I like it, it the like how it felt uh like physically when uh like previously uh, the, the board meetings af- after you finished them up you you kind of physically felt like mm. shit you mm. you're like every evening you you felt like oh mm. I f- fucking hate this yeah. but at the same time you know next day it, it was all better and, mm. and no, nice uh but after the the shift happened mm. you actually like you you came out from those meetings like Okay, now I know exactly what to do, mm. and you know, you you kind of you're supported and exactly, uh, yeah, yeah. Re- more relaxed. Yeah, cool. I'm happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Great learning. So, um, in addition to this one, uh, how has uh, insights or self reflection helped you in leading your company? I think uh, a lot. Um, I I can't name one specific thing i think it it there's so many things that it it can help you out with it can help you out you know leading people it can help you out um uh, leading things um mm. uh, getting perspective for example in these board discussions or uh there uh, i think there's many many things that when you know your strengths when you know your your weaknesses uh it, there's multiple kind of areas that you can mm. you can see that it helps mm. um, maybe one thing that I haven't re- mentioned yet is that um, when you're you're building up the team around you uh, and, and when you know your own strengths and, and own weaknesses mm. uh, you then um, actively start hiring people with kind of skill set that has synergies mm. with yours so maybe so they complete you so mm. that they complete mm. me so i think that's a very very important thing to to especially recruiting managers mm. to think about mm. not only like um for for yourself but then you know if you're recruiting to a team you mm. need to understand what kind of individuals there mm. are within those teams definitely so definitely important to have you know, self-reflection also done within the teams to, mm. to understand, okay, this type of a person mm. uh, could suit our team mm. and, and so on. So, yeah. so what kind of people complete you? What kind of people complete me? Mm. Um, hmm. I think people that uh, love numbers, <laughs> I like personally, I, I, I love, you know, You love the big picture of I'll, the numbers. I'll, I love the big picture. Mm. I, I, I love like numbers are part of the the like whole. Mm. You have you have the numbers. You have the people. You have the processes. You have you know these are. Mm. But 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 I hate going to the itty bitty gritty mm. like details. details of the numbers yes. And, yes. and you know accounting and that yes. types of stuff. I oh it gets my blood boiling in the wrong way. You're like shivering at <laughs> yes. the moment. <bulb. laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> So yeah, uh, like obviously we we've been lucky enough to have a, a great numbers guy, our CEO, mm. uh, managing that side. So so that has been has been really nice. Uh, people that you know speak up and and tell the honest truth. Mm. That's something that 
uh, I've always valued in in my team members that you know if something isn't and obviously that's something that you can you can then cultivate and and, mm. and, and nurture in, within your team and, mm. and build a culture that enables people to to speak up honestly mm. but um uh yeah that that has been always something that i value a lot because be, without you knowing without you um as a as a leader as a manager knowing what's happening around you and mm. within your team if you don't have those points of of information uh it's very challenging to mm. to manage to, exactly. to lead you can't so, read minds <laughs> yeah yeah exactly mm. so yeah I, i guess that's kind of the those are the the biggest non um like uh craft related mm. areas that yeah. you know i, I value mm-hmm. So what what kind of actions have you taken in your company to increase your own and, and your team's self-awareness? Uh, well, obviously utilizing a lot of services has, has been Thank you. <laughs> has been great for us. Uh, we 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 aim to to talk very very openly and and we have um, focused a lot on building a culture that uh, enables people to speak mm. up and, and kind of also reflect their team like individual teams culture and, and and the way they are within mm. within that culture um, and uh, I held this one one speech a while ago explaining different kind of leadership roles within mm. within uh, individuals and, and teams and what kind of roles roles we we all need to have in in the teams for them to to work as effectively as possible mm. and and that was something that uh i i kind of saw our our team also uh appreciate mm. a, a lot that they could they could pick that okay you know I'm, i i see myself in, in those types of leadership roles and i see You know, my team may be having that kind of negative mm. uh, leadership role. So how mm. how could we, you know, mitigate that and manage that in yeah. in order for for you know it not to become a problem? So yeah. Have you noticed now that you're going through uh, challenging times that uh, self awareness has some kind of helped you going through the reorganization or yeah, or your team in general? Um. I guess I could un- answer to that uh, a, b- a bit later when mm. when when I've digested mm. everything, <laughs> mm. that, like how has it be- helped? But I'm I'm sure it it does, and mm. I think I think mostly what it does is that I, when I when I know my weaknesses and, and my strengths, then um, I can then during this process and 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 like before this process, I could I could more effectively. Um, kind of create create the process and but also like um give certain tasks that mm. aren't necessarily my mm. cup of tea then mm. to, to some other to people, other people managing the process so mm. i guess that would be the only thing that comes to my mind right mm. now maybe on, maybe on later yeah <laughs> <laughs> but i guess like as we say that the kind of uh, the challenges in our personal lives are mm. the point where we kind of Re- restructure ourselves and, and become more aware of some things. Maybe it's the same for the companies as well. Mm. So when we encounter a crisis in a company, it's a point where a whole company can kind of relef- reflect on them themselves, who we are as a company and where do we want to go and yeah, what are true. our strengths and and how do we kind of rebuild this all mm. all again. So that that's very true and and uh, like we have tried and and we we really wanted this whole process to go. Uh, according to our our core values, mm. that we don't even, uh, or not especially during the times of, of crisis, mm. we don't default into something that is kind of chaotic, but mm. but actually like reflected from our core values and and from the culture that we have built up during the the, the years. Mm. So that that was really important. Obviously, you know, it is painful for the mm. whole team, not only for the people who who. Uh, you know, we're made redundant, but for the whole team, it, mm. it, it, it really, it, it's a shitty situation. Definitely. Uh, so, but, you know, you need, you need to, you still need to uh, go through that process and, mm. and, and, and um, kind of basing 
that process and, and whatever happens after that to your values and, and trying mm. to be as respectful mm. to your team as possible, then I think that's the only thing that you can do. Mm. So, Very well put. Yeah. So why do you think it's important for, for leaders to know themselves? What's your kind of final final statement? I think just, you know, in, if you want to become a better leader, mm. a, a better person, <laughs> you you really want to know kind of what, like how you are wired, um, what kind of situations maybe uh, like make you feel uh, negative emotions. Where where do they come from? Uh, what you what could you do mm. about them? And and then how you can enhance and and really cultivate your strengths. Mm. Uh, because as I mentioned, I think it's very important for you to focus on your strengths and focus on what makes you a, a good leader or mm. whatever you're doing. And what makes you you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm. So. Um, yeah, I think it's just like profession-wise, or professionally and, and and personally, I think it's 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 very important mm. to 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 know yourself, or like increase the self awareness mm. in in a way that you know it can help you in 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 multiple situations and multiple kind of aspects of life. Yeah, that was a good yeah. addition to increase the self awareness because this is not something that we can be ready. Like now, I'm. Now I know myself. This yeah, is yeah. the point where <laughs> it's it's not one and zero. I'm ready. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. O- always, new process. new stuff comes. Oh, okay, Definitely. right. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. Anything else you'd like to add? Something that I I didn't ask or. Um. No, not not, not really. Nothing comes to comes to my mind. I think, I think self awareness in in general uh, is is a. I think it's great that you guys are enabling that. And I think it's just something that that leaders and and like team members and everyone should should definitely uh, do. It, it, you know, helps in so many different fields that it, it's, it's surprisingly, surprisingly effective. Mm. Can't, can't agree more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Henno, so much for, for being here today. Of course.